All right, good morning everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Jakub Vanish and today we're going to be discussing Tesla's newest news and their announcements. So buckle up because there's quite a lot that has been unveiled on 10th of October. So today we're going to be watching uh, some snippets of the newest announcement that happened on October 10th or 10, 10, <laughs> so 10 out of 10, you know, unveil, uh, which was called We Robot Event. Uh, and it happened in LA uh, in the, in the um, I think it was some film studios, Warner Brothers, I believe, or something like that. So they, they used them, you know, to announce this. Uh, there was quite a lot of people there. Elon, of course, was the one holding, you know, everything as you you can see him, you know, going up the uh, the the stage, and there, yeah. Let's take a look at these announcements because they basically are propelling us towards the future. Welcome, welcome to the We Robot Party. So we we have uh, we have quite a show for you tonight. I think, uh, I think you're gonna like it. Uh, as you can see, I just arrived. So as you can see, camp. the Cybercap, or like a, it looks like a smaller Model and, uh, 3 or something like that, just for two people, uh, was leisurely from. announced by Elon because he arrived by the, this car, and it has, doesn't have any so steering wheel or any pedals. All, there's no people in them, as you can see. The car's just going by with no people. And there's a lot of them on this lot. Uh, apparently, almost everybody that uh, you know came to the event was have, actually uh, able to drive one or well, sit down in one, we'll not drive one. Uh, it looks like if you know Cybertruck with so Model see, 3 or Model Y had a baby. <laughs> yeah, um, though Cybertruck this is not stainless steel; it just uh, you know looks fabulous. like that. It's kind of a uh, gold you'll, you'll color. Be able to take a ride in the Cybercab. There's no steering wheel or pedals. <laughs> so I hope this goes well. I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that... This is very nice, you know, looking at these use cases, you know, taking the kids to school, making money for you. Um, not, not the ticket price, because that is subsidized. It has but very comfy seats. Is about a dollar a mile. Luxurious Whereas boot. The, the cost of, uh, it's just for two people, though, but mo most of the time it's only one or two people in the car. And as you can see, you can do your homework, you can do Zoom calls, you can watch sports, you can do, you know, you can sleep in that car. And everything else probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile. It should be cheapest to operate. It was, I think, what was it? Uh, five or eight kilowatt? I think it was, bit, I'm, 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 I will have to check this out. I think it was between five or eight uh, kilowatt hours per mile. Yeah. We do expect actually to, st to start a uh, fully autonomous, uh, unsupervised FSD uh, in Texas and California next year. Okay, so this is an announcement. And that, that's obviously, that's with the Model 3 and Model Y. And then we, we, we expect to be in production with the, the CyberCab, which is really um, hi highly optimized for autonomous transport uh, in Probably, <laughs> well, I tend to be a little optimistic with time frames, um, but but in tw in in 2026. So okay, yeah. So he says before 2027, 2027 but likely, no. you know, this will this will come when a bit later. In, and we know how it went with the announcements yeah. of uh, of cyber Cybertruck, for example. So I would expect this comes in 2028 or 29. Uh, but uh, what's the most bold thing is, about it? It, uh, it doesn't have a steering wheel and is, it doesn't have uh, pedals. Charging. So the rubber taxi has no plug. It, it See, just, uh, so it doesn't have any plug. It goes over inductive charger, and so there was I saw some videos where they were showing how these inductive chargers look like. So maybe oh, this is uh, a new product that they will start selling also to the end customers. What, what what happens if you need a <laughs> and here we're looking at uh, Elon calls it Roboven, but it's a Robo van. It's a van, you know. It's a mini bus of two, or actually, it's a bus. It's like for the twenty Robovan. people. The Roboven is. Uh, this is a, we're, we're going to make this, and it's going to look like that. Now, can you imagine going down the streets and you see this coming towards you? That'd be sick. <laughs> that would be sick. So, yeah, this is really futuristic, you know, kind of Art Deco style. So this can, this uh, can carry up to 20 people and it can also uh, transport goods. So you can configure it for 
goods transport within a city uh, or transport of up to 20 people at a time. So this is going <laughs> to... The Reboven is what's going to solve Reboven. for high density. So if you, if you want to take a sports team somewhere or um, you're looking to, to really get uh, the cost of travel down to, I don't know, five, ten cents a mile, then you can use the Reboven. Some people call it the Robovan, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> looks sick. Literally, this looks totally futuristic. So er everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software... No dates, the, um, though. So right now, they will be skipping, uh, you know, to, to Optimus, uh, Optimus updates. And uh, basically, they will have the march, you know, among the people. I think there were uh, all together 200 Optimus units, uh, you know, in this event. And they were serving food, they were serving beer, they were playing, you know, rock, paper, scissors and charades with people and they were discussing with them. Though what is, uh, you know, currently making the noise on the internet is that it was not fully, you know, AI driven. It is kind of semi-operated by somebody um, in a SpaceX laboratory you know, with a virtual reality headset. So it speaks really much much more natural than ChatGPT would to you right now. And also the the movements are very fluent, but this is how they are actually training and testing testing these units. And eventually this should be cheaper than a car, um, between 20 and $30,000, uh, which by the way is also the price of the Cybercap. So you can own one. This is not just for SpaceX fleet, the Cybercap, but this is something that you can buy and make it, you know, make money for you. You can just sign it up to the fleet, just like an Uber. You can have a herd of them. Uh, he said, like a shepherd, you know, <laughs> and and make money out of it. And this this is something that will make uh, your life much more easier. The Optimus, as you can see, you know, can really help you age gracefully uh, because it can, you know, when when your muscles uh, and mind doesn't do the justice anymore, you know, this is this is uh, your everyday helper. And for the price of twenty to thirty thousand dollars this is not bad honestly so i'm quite excited the market wasn't market reacted you know with the uh, i think sharp turn down with i think 12 percent decline or something like that but i'm super excited about this let me know what you think about it in the comments below uh, otherwise this has been Jakub Vanish um, and you know if you want more content like this then hit the like button or a subscribe button that what helps the alg algorithm and otherwise I wish you an amazing day everybody take care everybody and bye bye.